A lot has been made of um, Kevin Stefanski and, and the play calling. So um, he was asked about, you know, calling that draw on a third and nine late in the fourth quarter. And uh, in hindsight, would he have changed it? Here's Kevin Stefanski from today. In hindsight, I definitely wish I did something different. Uh, I got to, this is where I have to put our guys in position to succeed. And I didn't do that there. Uh, and, and I'm sick about it. Um, definitely got too wrapped up in the previous play call. Uh, you know, with the clock stopping and with, uh, you know, how that unfolded. Um, and I, again, I got to put our guys in position and, and I can't, uh, I can't do that to our team. And so there's a couple things here, Scott. He's referring to a potential pass interference call on the previous play that wasn't made. Now you do have two backup tackles, Blake Hance, James Hudson are your left and right tackles on that. And the other part of that is, Defensively, you've got your fourth and fifth cornerbacks who are starting. So there isn't a great option if you're calling a play in that circumstance for Kevin Stefanski. If you drop back Baker Mayfield, Joey Bosa is going to find, you know, <laughs> he's either going against Blake Hans or James Hudson. Take your pick. I don't like that matchup. If you're, if you're kicking the ball and giving it back, Mike Williams is going against your fourth and fifth corners. None of those are great options for the Browns. No, you're right. And I think when you weigh all those in, that means Kevin Stefanski should have been more aggressive because everyone felt that if the Chargers got the ball back, they were going to go score a touchdown. So the draw in that situation was surprising when it happened. It's still surprising now. Um, but I like the fact that Kevin Stefanski went there and talked about what he was thinking because, you know, they run it on first down. I think the Chargers call timeout, so it's second and nine. And then they called a play, they called an out and up to Donovan Peoples-Jones that they thought was going to work. And it did. The Chargers cornerback drills him into the sideline. There's no flag. They expected a flag. And then Baker actually thought there should be two flags because then he threw to Higgins. And Higgins, there was contact and no flag there. So I, I think Stefanski really thought that play would work, number one. Thought it was a terrible non-call, number two. And then thought, well, okay, even if that doesn't work, you know, Baker can scramble or checks it off and then the Chargers are going to have to call a timeout so I'll have time to think about that third down call and then none of those things happen and all of a sudden he's got to make a decision and goes with the draw and he said it right after the game so I think that's an honest moment that he was worried about the protection of the tackles but I think if he had an extra second to think about it on second down when they threw it the tackles did a good job Baker had all day to throw so why not trust him again on third down Trust your quarterback, trust your passing game, and try to go make a play. Even if you're on a screen, I like that call better than just a draw. The draw feels like a give up, and you can't give up in that situation when the odds are the Chargers are going to go down and score to take the lead again. And the other thing I would say is uh, Hunt had success on, on a third and long the week before, which might have subliminally kind of figured into what Kevin Stefanski was thinking as he picked up that in a, in a crucial situation against the Vikings. 